Fight Camp Squad, what's good? It's your boy Mike Rasheed. Today, we're building a combination. Everybody wants to hit hard, that's fine. But here's the, the secret. If you wanna hit hard, don't try to hit hard. In boxing, it's a common term that we all say. Speed is power, okay? Now, if you wanna really be fast and powerful because speed is power, you gotta be loose, you can't be tense. And when you're trying to throw a hard shot, you're tensing up. And they're not gonna come off as hard as you think. Also, when you're bracing up, trying to throw a hard shot, if you're sparring or you're actually fighting someone, they can see that shot coming and they can kind of tense up for it. Even if it is hard, it won't be as effective. The punches that they don't see is what hurts. Trust me, I've been hit plenty of times. The times that I don't see it, it hurts, it stings. So what we're doing today, just trying to get loose, throw some uppercuts. Uppercuts, the secret of uppercuts, the art of an uppercut is it's gotta be sneaky. You know, it can't be deliberate. The only time you're throwing a deliberate uppercut is when your opponent is hurt on the ropes and they're not focused on what you're doing. But you never wanna be deliberate with throwing an uppercut or any hard punch, all right? I wanna take you guys through this whole combination. This is the sweet science, but this part, I like to call it geometry. This is physical poetry at its finest. Check it out. All right, so I'm gonna demonstrate, I'm gonna explain what we're doing here. You're gonna see me shadow boxing, going through the motions, all right? Straight jab, straight right cross, slip, come up with an uppercut, and then a left uppercut. Get out the way. Adding on to this geometric masterpiece, we're gonna add a little bit more to the puzzle, all right? So, jab, right cross, slip, right uppercut, left uppercut, come back with another right uppercut, reset, another right uppercut. Get out the way. Okay, now you guys see me after I throw a combination, when I'm getting out the way, I'm putting my left hand in his face, okay? You, you call this uh, like a measuring stick or just keeping this in his face so he can't, if he's gonna try to retaliate, it's gonna be a little bit difficult because I'm impairing his vision. Or if he try to throw a shot, I'm kind of parrying it by having my left, my arm out there. It's not illegal, it's something that you could do in fighting. I do it all the time. I keep, even when I'm just getting ready, my, my lead hand is way out here, so I can quickly parry a shot or pop up a quick jab, turn it over real fast. So everybody has different ways that they do things, but when I come out of a situation, I wanna make sure I know where the guy's at. So I'm putting my hand right there, to keep myself safe and keep him honest. All right, so to conclude this uh, masterpiece, we're gonna walk through it again. All right, straight left, jab, right cross, slip, counter with an uppercut, right uppercut, left uppercut, right uppercut again, reset, another right uppercut, and then you're gonna fire off six. One, two, three, four, five, six, a three or a left hook, 
a two, slip under, another two, three, two, get out of there. Easy peasy. Check it out. Two punches that are my favorite punches. One is a left hook, and another is a straight right. Now, I work on these shots all the time. When I'm training, typically after my training session, I go and do about 10 to 15 minutes of only that punch. Today, we're just gonna do, I'm gonna show you what I mean um, by that, and I'm gonna throw the right cross or number two. If you're left-handed, it'll be a left cross in your number two. Now, I usually hit a bag, like an aqua bag, because you can hit it really hard and there's no impact on your joints. Um, but if I'm not gonna do that, I want a shadow box with weights in my hands. So it's just over and over, just throwing that straight right, throwing that straight right. Now, even though I'm not throwing my left, I'm still holding a weight in it, just to get your hands used to being up, okay? You wanna always have your hands up as much as possible. There is a time to fight with your hands down. That's for very skilled and experienced fighters. It's a tactic that I love. Um, People think that it's silly to have your hands down, but it's actually pretty smart because when you're throwing shots, they can't see where it's coming from. And it intimidates a guy that you're fighting. They're like, yo, this dude got his hands down. He must really don't respect me. He must know something. So, and they think you're crazy, but I love it. But anyway, five pound uh, weight in your right hand and just keep throwing it. You could do a two pound weight, three pound weight, seven pound weight, whatever. It's gonna be tough. Just over and over, just perfecting that, that shot. Something that you want to do, you want to be good at something, you got to do it over and over and over and over. Check it out. I keep saying this, but boxing is a thinking man or woman sport. It will stretch your ceiling of intelligence, I guarantee it. Just like learning a new language or writing with the opposite hand, it really increases brain activity. So does boxing, especially when you're being scientific and building these beautiful combinations. You don't just dive into a complex combination out the gate. You start small with maybe one or two punches minimum, right, perfect it, and then you start adding on, bop, bop, bop. Bop, bop, bop. And the physics of it all, it makes perfect sense. When you're committing with a, with a right, you're in perfect position to come back with a left hook. And then still perfect position to come back with a three, uh, I'm sorry, an uppercut. And then another left hook, and then a straight right, jab your way out. So it's a language that many of you fighters, whether it be boxing, whether it be MMA, even Jiu Jitsu, you name it, you all know that language. Your body tells you where it's supposed to go, how to attack, how to defend, how to parry, how to, you know, be sneaky, counterattack, all of these things. Now, even if you're not trying to be a competitive fighter, this will benefit you in everything you do in life. You need to be a dynamic thinker and think on your toes with anything that you do, work, school, you know, dealing with relationships, family, friends, things of that nature because life is not always black and white. Everything don't always fit into a box. You gotta be dynamic with your thinking. Boxing absolutely helps you become real fluid with your thinking, especially when you're being scientific with it. Check out some of these combos.
like I said, you don't have to be a competitive fighter or, or aspiring to be a competitive fighter to really enjoy the benefits of learning the art of combat, the art of war, and the physical form. I say physical, but it's very mental. Um, fight camp is a perfect segue into that. It's perfect. Listen, there's so many trainers, not just trainers, but good trainers, dope trainers with experience that actually fight, actually get down. It's so rare to have uh, a program, especially for boxing, where they use real competitive athletes that's instructing the mass population. This is a huge plus, a huge benefit. You know, they have so much content. Just check out the channel. I mean, we pop and we killing it over there at Fighting Camp. The programs are dope. The workouts are dope. It wears me out, it tires me out. I use a lot of those workouts for my own personal conditioning when I'm getting ready for a fight. It's really difficult for anyone to keep up with a, a, a coach's pace, right? When someone's having you throw punches at their pace, it's very tiring, it's very difficult, it's making you, making you think a lot, but it's so beneficial. I can get on a bag 30 minutes straight, no problem, because I'm going at my pace and taking my breaks. But when they're training me through the app, I'm at their pace and it's a leaderboard. So I'm trying to get the, the, the top number, the most amount of punches in the least amount of time. So it's so fun, it's so competitive. You're competing with people everywhere and anywhere. If you got Wi-Fi, you can do this. So you also compete with yourself. Like say if you did a, a sprint workout yesterday and you got a certain time, today you try to beat that time or beat everybody else's time, whatever. I'm always trying to be at the top of the leaderboard. So y'all check it out. It's dope. You don't want to be left without it when everybody got one. All right, so check out Fight Camp.